Hey, how's it going folks? This is day two, already at the warehouse, and I'm finishing packing up right now. I actually just unloaded everything. All the speaker equipment now is inside. We're ready to go. I'm just waiting for Zach, actually. Zach is uh, bringing the rest of the stuff. He's got some uh, gates, some flags, also a generator that I loaned him. So we're going to get that all done, and then we can get going. So, it's going to be a pretty busy day. Well, driving up is not that busy, but it's a pretty long trip up, so going to try to get up there before three o'clock, really set up, make sure that we got everything going well with the track, have a little fun, and then uh, get some sleep at a hotel, and then we're going to uh, start the drone festival on Saturday. Also meeting up with Aaron, so uh, he's gonna tell us what the schedule is gonna look like, and uh, yeah. Hey everyone, just got out of Louisville, heading up to Santa Claus, Indiana right now. The roads are finally starting to get a little bit light full of cars, so I can finally do a little bit of vlogging without having too much to worry about. Uh, it's probably one of the worst things about uh, doing stuff like this, is that you have to actually drive in a boxer truck. Like in my little cargo van, I've gotten used to it. I remember when I first got into it, it was like super hard to drive that thing around, you couldn't look behind you, the mirrors suck. This thing is even worse, you know? It's one of these things where it's like, man, never liked driving one of these things, but we're almost there. The drive up is actually pretty good. Uh, the weather the last few days have been pretty crappy, so I'm really hoping that Saturday turns out to be a really good day. Alrighty, just got into Santa Claus, Indiana. Checking in at the lodge right now, and we will see where everybody is when I get in, get on the internet, see what's going on. Get on Facebook. I'm gonna go ahead and message everyone, make sure that they know we're up here, and then we can get started working on making stuff happen. What? Hey, why? This is Aaron Begley. Uh, if you could give me a call back as soon as you get this, um, we're looking at trying to potentially cancel our rescheduled uh, fest and race tomorrow. Um, like I said, you just give me a call back as soon as you get this, and we can uh, get it discussed. Thanks, why? Bye. Uh, alrighty, so there, let me turn off the AC real quick. So, so there is a small change of plans. Um, the festival has been canceled due to thunderstorms, which, I mean, 80% chance of thunderstorms, yeah, you should probably cancel it. So, I just kind of wish they cancel it before I drove an hour and a half up here and loaded an entire truck. But, I mean... You know, it is what it is. We are canceling it until September 8th, which is quite a long time away. So I'm not sure what was going on there, but that's what it is. We're going to cancel it um, here right now, waiting at a gas station. Uh, I'm holding the camera low because I don't want to freak out the uh, lady in front of me pumping gas. So I'm going to go ahead, fuel up, uh, get on home, and enjoy the weekend because I've got nothing planned now. Um, rescheduling for September 8th does kind of suck, but now we uh, move on to the next festival, so that's going to be ours. So we're going to be moving on to the New Albany Drone Festival. Luckily for us, for that festival, we have an indoor component, so if it thunderstorms or rains, we can move the racing indoors and it'll be perfectly fine. There's half of a soccer field. We'll shrink it down. Uh, we won't have a multi-GP qualifier if we have to bring it indoors, but it is what it is, so... We'll, do, we'll deal with that when it comes up, but hopefully it's good uh, good weather when we have it, which is, you know, 4th of July weekend, but 
that's what it is right now. So on my way back up to Louisville again, probably be in town around 7 p.m. So hopefully traffic will be good. All right, just got back. Um, it's raining in Louisville as usual. I don't know why. I guess it's just this time of year. Uh, everything looks pretty good. Let me shut off the air conditioning. Uh, I'm glad I got in before it got dark, but uh, I'm definitely not unloading anything in the rain, and I don't really feel like unloading anyway, so just leave that for tomorrow. I'm gonna try to enjoy my Friday, and um, we'll see where we are. But it got canceled, so because of rain. So now I gotta go. Now I gotta go unload the truck. All right, folks. Got a late start to Saturday because since we're not doing a drone event, I decided to sleep in, and I really slept in. But it, it felt good, you know. It's always good to have a couple of days where you can just kind of be lazy and just do nothing. But now it's back to the warehouse. And uh, we got to unload the truck so that we can get the truck back. Um, I got a couple of people helping me doing that. So I'm not going to record any of it because they don't want to be on camera. And, you know, I can respect that. So going to head on over, unload the truck, and we'll see where we're at today. So we just got done unloading the van. It really doesn't take that long as long as you have a couple of people helping you. So I just got to get back there and organize all of that stuff. Uh, this is the terrible part of organizing is they actually putting everything back organizing it and even when I do that I still lose stuff and I still can't find stuff there's a lot of work that goes into you know what happens after an event and it's just crazy how long you can spend on it it's already late afternoon and I probably still have a couple of hours of just organizing um, the equipment that we have it's one of those things where if you're gonna do a drone racing event, a big one, that's kind of incorporated into like a festival or another event, you really have to bring a lot of stuff because you can't just go out there with just a simple race course and a tent, you know? You want it to look a little bit more extravagant in order to get the public's attention. So there's just a bunch of stuff that we have to drag along, but it's worth it in the end, you know, if we actually get a really good turnout. So I'm almost done wrapping up things and organizing back there, but I do want to leave the warehouse a little bit early today just because I want to start moving some of the studio equipment into this room right over here. So what I want to do is I want to wrap up up here, make sure I have everything in good shape, and we're going to go home and start breaking down some of the equipment that's at my house and start bringing it over here. So that's the plan for Saturday. It's going to be a lot of work, but you know what? It's going to create a lot of more free room at my house, which is great because I do need the room at my house at this point. And I get a much bigger environment to work with and we can do some really cool things here. So that's the plan. Uh, Saturday is turning out to be pretty great. Mm -hmm. 